Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome again to a new week. Thank you, God, for giving us a brand new week. I hope your your week is off to a good start, that you know how much you're loved, and that God is with you and your family and your loved ones. Well, this week we continue our study in uh, the Word of God, in our Adult Bible Study Guide, along the theme of the Great Controversy. My name is Duane, and I want to tell you you're in for a wonderful ride this week because we're studying faith against all odds. Faith against all odds. Sometimes the odds get tough. Uh, the, the tide gets high. Sometimes things seem to overwhelm us, but we can have faith in God even amid all the odds. Our memory text this week, Psalm 119 and verse 11. We'll come back to Psalm 119. Thy word have I hidden my heart, O God, that I might not sin against you. That whole psalm focuses on David's love for the commands of God, for the word of God, and how much he appreciates that God communicates. Do you appreciate that God communicates? That he wants to communicate with us? I sure hope so. Because we have the privilege of being in connection with our God every day. Sabbath lesson talked about the fact that uh, the reformers, those who stood through great trial and crisis, were men and women of conviction and of purpose. Do you have a life purpose? Sometimes a life purpose can help us to endure the most uh, painful and difficult and trying circumstances. Fires, I mean, burned at the stake in some cases imprisoned and beaten and starved in other cases. Yet these men and women of faith remained faithful to God. How did they do it? They had faith against all odds because they had purpose. Well, on Sunday's lesson, we're going to talk not just about faith against all odds, but about the word of God, which was their hope and stay. They immersed themselves in the word, the word of God alone. Today's study, the word of God alone. They were able to put their roots deep into the word of God assimilated into the heart. There's a wonderful quiet quote there from Ellen White where she says, the word of God assimilated into the heart transforms the person in every aspect of their lives. This is the power of God's word. David says that not only is that word powerful, but in Psalm 119, 162, he says, when I found that word, it was to me like spoil. I prize it. I wake up in the morning looking to hear from God. I wait patiently for the very words of God. How were they able to overcome? They overcome, they overcame in times past because they had a fealty a love, a devotion to the word. Their devotional lives were built on the word of God. They esteemed it more than their necessary food as as, as uh, uh, others have written in scripture. The word of God is so powerful and is so transformative that if we immerse ourselves in it, it will change us, it will transform us, and it will make us better exponents of righteousness in the world. It changes everything about us. So today, let's prize the word of God even as we study this lesson.